Adam Kirby dominated at Leafy Lingfield on Wednesday, notching a 220 to 1 four timer on the card, including the two feature races. Group 1 winning sprinters Tangerine Trees and Prohibit lined up in the £19,000 five furlong handicap, but it was the informed Forest Edge, rated just 64 last year, who picked up his third win on the bounce under a perfectly judged ride from Kirby. The David Evans trained four year old in the spots has gone up some £35 since August 2012 and is due for another rise after justifying three to one favoritism here. Goes up the far side rail, they're then followed by You Better Be Good. Forest Edge trying to get there, peak and sort, trying to thread his way through, but it's a very rough ride for him, dropping right out. It's prohibited in last place, they head towards the line now. Addictive Dream still with Tangerine Trees. Here's Forest Edge, delivered with a telling late run to land the prize comfortably. Kirby proved his versatility in the saddle when winning from the front aboard Marshgate Lane in the green in the following mile and a quarter conditions race. Seemingly forced to make the running on sufferance, the son of Medagliadoro was sent for home a long way out and soon had his rivals in trouble. The Mark Johnson trained runner, who was sent off at 5 to 2, had just enough left to hold off the fast finishing You Are Amazing. Free wheel comes under a bit of pressure and You Are Amazing is also driven along Bank New and Ahen and is trying to close on the outside but Marshgate Lane gallops with great enthusiasm and tries to pinch a lead here off the final bend. Mia's boy ridden along as well in rear so Marshgate Lane the one to catch. You Are Amazing is two and a half lengths away. The other's not really close yet. Less than a furlong to go. Mia's boy staying on. Bank New and Ahen and with a lot of work to do they race with half a furlong left to go. Marshgate Lane out in front. You Are Amazing though and Jim Crowley trying to get there. Marshgate Lane lasted home. Marshgate Lane. Kirby took Division One of the Seven Furlong Handicap aboard Shauna's Spirit and then provided another masterclass in the saddle, kicking for home off a slow pace a long way out aboard the Luca Kamani train grey Mallory Heights in the mile and a half handicap. The well supported 5 to 4 shot was recording a second success on the all weather. Kirby said he was worried about the slow gallop as he knew he was on a stayer, so decided to pull his man wide and kick for home, turning in rather than be tapped for speed in the home straight. A decision that certainly paid off. Echo Bravas trying to come at him. Now not Graf and Lads in full steam down the outside with Sir Boss as well. Mallory Heights in front here. Chased all the time by not Graf and Lad and Echo Brava. Adam Kirby completely steals the show. Mallory Heights gives him his fourth winner of the day. Not Graf and Lad. Perhaps the most exciting winner on the card was the Lady Cecil train newcomer Grasped, who took the one mile maiden on the card. Prince Khan Abdullah owned three year old, was backed into five to two favouritism, but was very slowly away and raced wide throughout. She showed a tremendous turn of foot in the closing stages, though, to get up by a head. Jockey Tom Queeley said, allowing for normal progress, the daughter of Zamindar will be nice adding that it rode like an all right race. And Alderbrough come next, uh, revised being kept in amongst runners by Jamie Spencer. Meanwhile, Grasped is allowed to bowl along on the wide outside by Tom Queeley as they head now down with two and a half furlongs left to go. Spessartine has now dropped out last of all. The leader is Lady Guinevere, takes over from Secular Society as Echoes of War now fades out of contention. In third is Tumble Down, then Alderbrough, followed then by Revise, who's got an awful lot to do. So too is Grasped as they come with a furlong long left to go. The leader is Lady Guinevere but now tackled and passed by Secular Society. Grasp is getting the hang of things in great style now. Just look at her finish off. Can she get there? And Grasp is absolutely flying with Secular Society. Grasp, I think, got up. She might and another potentially smart prospect, Pearl Spector, took the opening one-mile nursery. The son of Street Cry passed through the Keeneland sales ring for $600,000 as a yearling and had been mentioned as a potential Kentucky Derby candidate for next season. Sent off at 6-4 to four on, Jamie Spencer's mount successfully gave weight all round to deny the well-backed R. Gabriel in a tight finish. Chris Bonner, assistant to trainer Andrew Balding, said the colt, who is two from two on the all-weather, is a big baby who will be a nice horse over a trip next year. Hanging all over the track still, still just in front from our Gabriel, who's challenging on the far side. Capers Royal Star running a big race, a little bit short of room there late in the day, and now they go to the line. Our Gabriel and Pearl Spectre are absolutely together in the opener.